What's going on guys? Jeremy here with SlimeQuest TV coming at you with another episode on Humminbird Helix units. Today we're going to be working on a G4N, but this same thing will work for G3Ns as well. And uh, we're going to be talking 2D guys, the different frequencies, what they're used for, and of course, how to get the best settings. We're going to dive into it right now. All right guys, we're going to dive into these settings right now for 2D and your Humminbird Helix G4N. And the first thing you want to do, guys, is hit this menu button once, and it's going to bring up your 2D uh, quick menu and sensitivity. Sensitivity, the cleaner the water in, the higher you can have your sensitivity. The dirtier the water, the lower you want your sensitivity. I like, personally, for just all around on any body of water, I like my sensitivity on 12. For some reason, 12 works really good. My contrast... I actually like set up to 30. You can see that by upping the sensitivity, we increase some of the green around the hard returns, which are fish and bait. As we up this contrast, I like mine set to about 30, 27 to 30. And it actually eliminates a lot of this green clutter around the fish. You can see these, these fish markings and the returns have a lot of green around them. There's really no need for that green. I like a good solid return. And you can see up to about 30, now we got solid red returns. And any kind of soft bottom is still gonna be green. This is all hard bottom right here is, is mostly red. But we eliminate a lot of that green, just got a nice clean picture of, uh, if we lower that contrast a lot, we just get too much clutter. You see all this clutter popping up and we just don't need that. These small little, these aren't even fish, these are actually just plankton and we just don't need those on 30. We are only getting returns of fish and things of that nature. Um, now, next thing I want to talk about, guys, with 2D is on these G4N units, it's a dual spectrum unit. It actually, the, the, the frequency that it hits returns on are you got full, you got wide, and you got narrow. We could actually change these right now. We're on full is reading from 150 to 220 kilohertz which the old units used to only have 83 and 200. So we're reading between, we're reading a spectrum, a broad spectrum of frequencies, which give a good return. And we can actually change these by clicking this check button right here. Oh, we gotta exit out of that menu first. 140 to 200, 180 to 240, that's the narrow. And then now we're back on the full. The other way to do that, guys, if you hit the menu button twice, we go up here on our sonar menu and we have our display spectrum and we have full, which is the 150 to 220, the wide 140 to 200 and the narrow. And the full is your all round, just best sonar you could have when you're not trying to do specific things. If you're looking for schools of fish in a, in a wide area, it's going to be shooting a cone down from the bottom of the boat, similar to this. So if you're in, in 20 foot of water, you can be getting a cone of about eight feet. So you're marking a lot of a lot of the bottom of the lake and, and picking up more fish. Now, if you're looking for individual fish or a lot of guys that are jigging and trying to sharpshoot walleyes, things like that, you want to have your cone set to narrow, which is the highest frequency in 2D and it's shooting a very narrow cone coming out of your boat like this right, right here. So if you're in 20 foot of water, it might be only reading two or three feet. So you can get very, very specific on pinpointing exact fish. And uh, that's kind of how these frequencies work on this unit. Before they just had 83 and 200 and they didn't have narrow and wide. So they make it easier for you now to find out which is wide and which is narrow. But full is what you want to have it on when you're just out there on an everyday application. All right, guys, there you have it. 2D explained how to get that clearest image. And I hope this helped, guys. You know, please uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see future videos. We have a ton more stuff coming out. And next week, we're going to be talking about down imaging, how to get that clearest down imaging picture. So stick with us, guys. We'll see you on the next one.